All right guys, this is, I'm Byron Horton here with the Whitetail Experience and something I wanted to go over today in today's YouTube video is just how I run and gun and sell film. Um, generally when I pack in I've got my standing sticks, a backpack of some sort to carry some items, my camera arm and camera. Uh, depending on how you pack in obviously like it's going to be a little different for everybody but this is just how I do it and I've been doing it now for a couple years. Um, obviously in this scenario I'm at the base of my tree and I've disassembled my gear. I've got my stand sticks, my pack, and, and kind of my camera arm and, and camera base. Generally, when I pack in, uh, I will attach my camera arm to my tree stand or like my external backpack. Last year, I ran the Kuyu uh, bag that's got some external um, mounting options. I ran the 1850 Icon bag. So just walk you through how I go and, and my process. So I get to the tree, I kind of assess, you know, where I want to be, what lanes I've got, what, what killable opportunities. Um, I go ahead and I start my climb. Now in today's demo, I won't be using an aider, but generally I, I, I do use an aider and I try to get, oh, about seven foot with one stick. I, I do try and really get up there um, when, when I'm doing that. But for today's demo, I'm just going to use one stick. So I go ahead and get on the tree here nice and quick. So generally when I go to ascend, I go ahead and have the stand on my back. I'll be wearing a harness with a lineman's belt, get that guy around the tree. Generally I have a step eight or a ladder step aider so I can get really up there. Um, I generally will put a stick on each hip. I've got a loop there that will, will accommodate a, a, a stick. If I'm using all four of my sticks, I'll set the next one right here on the top B bracket. And yes, if I bump it off, it will make noise, but I, I just kind of take my time there. Um, so go ahead and get the stand hung up. At this point, actually, before I go up, I attach my tow rope to my camera base. Um, that's just something I do. I also will have like a bow, uh, oh, a bow screwing holder in my pocket and, and maybe even a bag holder. It kind of depends on the scenario and the hunt. Uh, something I do when I hang my stands is we also have another video on our YouTube for a, like a quick hang option, a self-made. And what I do is I basically have a strap around the tree that doubles as a bag holder, but I've got a loop that kind of allows me to hang my stand just a little easier. Go ahead and check that video out. But yeah, I go ahead and attach, you know, my tow rope, my bow tow rope traditionally uh, to my camera base. And then I start my ascent. So after I get my stand lock or stand up, I, I cam lock it into place. <clears throat> um, made sure you, my lanes are where they need to be, and, and this is where I want to hunt. Uh, I go ahead and pull up my camera arm or my camera base. Uh, currently, I don't really have a camera arm. I'm really excited about. Uh, I've had the fourth arrow, and I've had this third arm, and I've ran the hawk too at another point. And I just I'm not happy with what's out there, and I don't know what I'll be running this this fall. But uh, so I go ahead and get this on the, on the tree and uh, I like it on my right hand side and I really like it about, oh, mid thigh to your nuts. I mean, uh, that, that's kind of the level I like it to be at because that arm sticks up just a little ways and I like to be able to control it with my right, have my bow in my left hand and get to draw quickly because when you're self filming, it's, it's a quick, quick game between throw the camera in the lane and shoot it. Um, when I self film, like I don't get super tight on any kill shots because I'm just trying to, to capture something about it. I mean, when you're self filming, you, you definitely have a handicap. I hate seeing footage of guys that are real tight when they're self filming and they're always moving and stuff. I'm like, dude, you got to cut yourself a break, kill that deer. Uh, don't be the guy online that says, oh, I let him walk because I couldn't self film him. No, I want to be the guy who's killed a lot of deer. Oh, just a quick tip. I do like to set stuff on my seat when I'm getting it ready. Um, Ratchet straps are sometimes a pain, but yeah, I do utilize my seat as a, as a quick shelf. I also want to check that I can flip my seat up all the way and make sure that base is where I want it before I crank it on there all the way. Uh, I stand most of my hunts, so. Uh, at this point, I'll also go ahead and screw in my bow holder um, that I've got, or um, I'll, I'll uh, get my my oh, quick quick attach system, move that around the tree that'll hang my bag on, or if you you got another uh, hook in your your pocket, go ahead and screw that in. That way, when you come up with your bag and pull your bow up, everything's got places to go. That way, you're not fumbling, resting your bag on your seat, and you're trying to screw in a hook. If you do it now while your stand's essentially empty, I feel like it's it's just easier working conditions. So I actually go down the tree. I always come down and up twice. A lot of guys uh, aren't in favor of that, 
Um, but I generally will go up and down twice. After I've hung my stand and, and got my camera base set, I come down the tree and I'll put on my final layers. Um, I like to do a lot of my hard work or harder work, you know, for a hanging hunt um, in lighter clothes, you know, whether that be the more athletic pants, uh, maybe only just a base layer on. Uh, if we're talking October, November, generally I'm gonna have a coat or even like bibs that I'll put on now and go when I go up to the tree for the final time, I'm ready to go. Um, so I'll do that all here on the ground. I will attach my camera arm to my bag. Both bags I run have external straps to make this really easy, whether it be the XOP or the, the Kuyu or uh, even Badlands 2200 does the same thing. Um, so at that, at that point, I'll go up the tree, uh, raise my bow up, set that in. Um, really, nothing over the top after that. Uh, getting a ca camera arm level when you're solo filming is huge. If it's not level in any way, you will know because when you leave your camera there with any weight, this will, will pivot. And so like if this isn't level and I leave it, it's gonna go on its own. So you gotta make sure that this camera arm, when you set it up, is good and level. So when I'm bow hunting, this is generally how I'm set up. I have my bow in hand and I've got my camera right here ready to roll. If I need a little bit of zoom, I'll, I'll do it with this right hand with my, my DSLR. Um, as far as like any tips I would I would say for the self-filmer running gunner, if you hear a t twig snap or anything you think is a deer, you you need to grab your bow at the same time, turn your camera on and just kind of be ready. You can't like, let me confirm, like you just kind of need to always be on edge and dialed in um, as a self-filmer. Um, other than that, I would maybe leave some of you, your ISO on, on uh, on auto that way it's adjusting light for you and you're only having to play with your your other settings on your camera um obviously if you're getting a very cool b-roll whatever type shots you you can run everything in manual i actually use autofocus too like, like screen um so i will use that that function when solo filming kill shots obviously if i'm doing something uh fancy as far as video is concerned i'll probably run it in manual um that's really about it Really appreciate all the support out there. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button or leave a comment if you'd like to see anything else uh, as far as public land, running gun style, whitetail hunting. Thanks.